Hey guys, it's Melissa with Let's Find Joy Photography, um, letsfindjoyphotography.com. So today I'm going to share with you how I edit um, the reds out of my images. This is for newborns mainly, but you can use it for people who just have lots of red in their skin. Um, so normally when I always edit my photos, I import them into Lightroom. And then if I need to do further editing, I just right click on the image in Lightroom um, and edit it to click, click it to edit it in Photoshop. So it'll open up, you know, the raw image here in Photoshop. So this is the raw image. I have it here in Photoshop. I'm going to create a quick, quick little snapshot so that we can easily see the before after we finished. Um, so when I get rid of the reds, I do a hue saturation layer. Um, so you can get to that from your adjustment panel and it'll be this box right here for hue saturation. So you click it, it automatically makes a new layer um, for the hue sats and you're going to switch it to reds. This second drop down menu will be changed to reds. You're going to take the um, furthest left eyedropper tool and you're going to select the reddest part of the image, which is usually the lips. You're going to bring your hue, um, this part, all the way down to the left. This just um, will clearly let us see when we only have the red selected. So you'll see these four little slider tools here, the white little slider tools. We're going to take the one that's on the far right and we're going to drag it left till only the reds are selected that we want to change. And you can see that she is pretty red to begin with, so um, we're going to have lots of reds. And then you're going to bring your hue back up. And you can see as you bring it back up, it's extra red, or if you go way over, it's extra green. But we want a happy medium, and so that's going to vary for every baby, but it's usually somewhere around 7 to 10, um, depending on the baby. Um, so you kind of just play around with those, with that range. I feel like 8 is a pretty good range right there. Then you're going to hit B on your keyboard to bring up your brush. You're on a white layer. So you want to make sure you have a black brush, which you can get to by pressing this right here, this two-way arrow, arrow, or pressing X on your keyboard. And you want to make sure your opacity or opacity, however you pronounce that, I always forget, <laughs> is up to 100%. And then you're going to brush it off the lips because you still want the lips to be pretty and red. And it didn't change her feet really in the way that um, looks bad, so I'm going to leave her feet. Then I'm going to hit Command Shift E on my keyboard or Control Shift E if you're on a PC to merge those layers. And if you notice on her, sorry, that was my phone if you heard that, um, on her eye, there's this red area just not wanting to cooperate with me. So, go away, Mom. <laughs> so, we're going to do another layer um, of reds. So, you're going to do the same thing. Select reds, select the furthest left dropper tool. I'm going to select an area of this eye, bring the hue down all the way to the left, and then take my furthest right dropper tool and bring it all the way over until only the problem areas are selected. Okay, so now I'm going to bring this up and I'm going to go further than the 7 to 10 range because um, I want it to look more like a shadow. And um, if I say in that range, it's not, see, it's not really cooperating. That red's still there. Um, so I'm going to go a little bit further to where it just looks like it's kind of a shadow. See here, it's starting to turn green. That's too much. But if I leave it about right there, it just kind of looks like a shadow. And of course, if you want to do further editing, I can always use the patch tool or however you like to edit that out. Um, but that's good for now. So I'm gonna, I hit B on my keyboard to bring my brush back up so I can brush it off of the lips. And it's also changed her feet now. So we're going to fix that because we want those still cute and baby pink. And I'll be fixing the skin in another video and it kind of turned that spot green. So I'm just going to um, do it back red. Okay. So that looks good to me. Command Shift E to merge.
perfect. So now we're gonna look at the before and compare it. So there's before and after. It just really gets rid of those reds quick and easy. Um, I love it. Stay tuned for another video on how I hand edit her skin and how I smooth it. Um, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.